everyone, I'm Shirley with Entertainment Weekly, and I am here with the cast of Marvel Rising. Woo! Hi, everyone. Yes. Yes. So Did you say the same thing as me? Yeah. All day, are, all day. We are live on Facebook, so please submit your questions and comments below, right around here. Uh, we're going to be taking those questions as you send them in. Uh, but first of all, hello, everyone. Welcome to the studio. Hi, Hi. 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 So this is a really cool project that Marvel is doing. It's an animated series of uh, videos that will culminate into a TV movie on Disney Channel. Uh, it is about a group of superheroes we haven't seen before, kind of the next generation. And I just wanted to know from you guys, why is it important to see this really female-fronted group of superheroes? I mean, it sounds sort of obvious, but go for it. Yeah, I mean, I think what's great about this show is that it's really going to inspire a new generation of young, particularly young women and young men. Um, it's so racially diverse, a religious diverse, body, ty body diversity, and just the power of representation on screen, whether it's animation or whether it's on you know, film or TV or on S.H.I.E.L.D. is so important and that's why this show is so amazing and it's funny. And it's really funny. And mm -hmm. it's uh, it's it, very funny. It's so funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Marvel told us it's <laughs> funny. Say it. You say it now. What is it again? Hilarious. Did you say it's it hilarious. one more time? It's We're not funny. meant to reveal it's that. Funny. It's funny. funny. <laughs> That's a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we're all fired. So I'm curious, this series starts off with Dove, your character, Gwen Stacy as Ghost Spider, who's dealing with some really dark stuff for a teenager. I mean, being on the run, being framed for murder, and having to hide this identity from her father. Um, tell me about what research went into that. What comics did you look at? Did you look at anything in particular? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that comics are, I mean, I personally am a huge comic fan, but I do think that comics are sort of a, it's like a heightened version of reality. So, in, I mean, in order to bring sort of a truth to any character, even if you're voicing, you know, a very heightened reality, like character, you have to bring uh, more of a realism. So I didn't, I didn't look at too many comics as much as I uh, just brought, you know, I mean, we're all actors. So it's, you know, so it's, so it's right. like, you gotta, it's, yeah. it's difficult. It was difficult for me, actually. It was a challenge too, because I'm a very like facial actor like I uh, all of it's like right here so it was really difficult to me to kind of get over and, and put that into my voice but I really did I, I thought a lot about what it would be like to have this massive secret and the kind of weight that that would have on somebody especially because her father is not only the chief of police but he also very publicly bashes ghost spider and, and disapproves of her and thinks of her as a menace and not really a hero and, and it it's almost like you know even though she knows that it's not a direct comment on her in some ways, you know, you're a young teenage girl, you're gonna feel that, that sort of resentment from someone who you care about so much. So you just have to bring the emotion to it and bring the sort of realism and try to relate as much as possible, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, there's the key word there, relatable. I mean, these are all superheroes, but they have, you know, life goings on that everybody can relate to. That's what Marvel does so well, whether it's in the movies or on TV or in animation, is like all of all of the characters are so grounded and there's it's, not all heroes are super, you know, mm. and they show uh, the the um, subjectiveness of morality super, like, amazing through the characters in, like, a really simple way, in a way where kids can understand it through animation. Um, and it's it's why Marvel is such a great company to work for. Can you tell I've been working for Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can I didn't even know I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this and this child sounds so And shameless. now we unplug her. <laughs> <laughs> the real Chloe. Well, now we've got our very first fa Facebook question. It's from Tom, and this is for everyone. Hi, Tom. Hello, Tom. Oh my God, Tom. throwback. Tom. <laughs> Well, it's not MySpace Tom, I believe. Okay. Uh, but how he asks, how does it feel to voice such important characters like Miss Marvel for Cat, Spider Gwen for Dove, and Squirrel Girl for Milana? Well, it's really exciting for me to play Ms. Marvel just because to have a brown girl who's Muslim, who is a superhero, is a real dream come true as a brown girl um, who comes from a Muslim family. So I, it's, I think it's so important, not just for the superhero world, but for the real world, to have that kind of representation in, in a Marvel character, which is huge. Amen. A woman. A, a woman. woman. A woman. Yeah. A woman. <laughs> That's cute. Yikes, guys. <laughs> Yikes, guys. Get out. Well, Tom's also curious about Squirrel Girl. How do you feel yeah. about taking on that mantle? 
Uh, Squirrel Girl is has always been my favorite Marvel character, so I do feel like I a, a little bit prayed this into reality. But um, she's amazing because she's the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Like she <laughs> actually, I think my favorite thing about her is how incredibly resourceful she is. She's not necessarily the strongest character. She's not the biggest character. In fact, I think this Marvel might be, but um, <laughs> or it can grow to be. Can grow. Um, but She's she's a thinker, you know. She's really good at including her friends in things, and and that may include some not human friends in things. Mm -hmm. And um, and because of that, she kind of I think helps me, maybe helps other people who watch this think outside of the box in terms of what you have at your disposal. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's really gone meta with it. There's just squirrels <laughs> yeah. everywhere we go you in the bus tell on the way video, here. But that's why this yeah. dress is so <laughs> just filled. I'm yeah. actually yeah. made of squirrels. Yes. Yeah, I'm just wearing a, a Milana prosthetic. Yeah. 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 I had a pet squirrel in real life. No, you did yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. I kept not people. Sorry, people. Sorry. we need to talk <laughs> about this. Is, uh, yeah. the director yeah. um, is right in the other room. Chloe has just divulged a dark secret. She actually used to have a pet squirrel. Yeah, his name was Sneeps. I kept him in my closet. No, like his he was a little baby, and I found him on my on like in my yard and then I put him I like I made the whole thing and then I didn't tell my parents so I kept him in my closet but then he got really domesticated I'd watch cartoons with him and wait you're, you're joking. joking and then the your cops parents took him away well, we <laughs> that's amazing. no that's yeah, just yeah. like my child how long yeah. did you hide it from your parents for two months <laughs> <laughs> I came home from school and they were like <laughs> Chloe <laughs> do you squirrel. have a that's do you have a squirrel in your closet and I was like how did you find him? And they're like, because it's a squirrel in your closet. So Do I relate, girl. Well, it is, again, these characters are relatable. Yes. <laughs> it's really good to know that we have a real life squirrel girl here yeah. as well. I, nothing in can the compare, studio. But I can, like, we can talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we have well, a lot to talk about. There you about. go. Yeah. But we're going to wrap up on that fact. <laughs> we are yeah. out of time. Why? But thank you guys so much for stopping by. And we'll wave a little goodbye at everybody on Facebook Live. Goodbye, everyone on Facebook Live. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye.